Genius Insomniac is Bruce, the coolest nerd you know, and today we enter into viral math problem theater. We've entered this before. We probably will enter it again at some other time. I want to start off by first saying I don't wear glasses, so let's get rid of these. Today's problem is, let me grab my phone. I don't have it pulled up. Oh, here we go. By the way, this is a Samsung Galaxy uh, S7 Edge. Samsung sent me something free for saying that. Probably won't. Okay, so it goes. A guy walks into a store and steals a $100 bill from the register without the owner's knowledge. He comes back five minutes later, buys $70 worth of goods with the $100 bill. The owner gives him $30 in change. How much money did the owner lose? Hashtag comment. By the way, in one iteration of this, I saw someone say, how much uh, money did the owner lose? If you wrote loose, um, we definitely can't be friends. If you get anything other than the answer of 100 for this problem, we can't be friends. And I know there are people writing stuff like, he lost 130, he lost 270. Those people, you can, I, 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 there's a special place for those people who wrote $270 lost that special place is not going to be with any of us if someone does answer anything like 270 or whatever they're so far out of the range of being correct call the proper authorities and have them escorted off the premises of wherever they're at but anyway let's get to why this answer is 100 so you can show your friends like here is the solution and why okay so let me just show it to you visually because maybe visually it'll make more sense so using editing powers boom look we're gonna make a store inventory of money and goods. Okay, so let's say we have $500 in cash in that register and $500 in goods in the store. It's a small store. So robber comes in, he takes $100, boom. So it's $100 gone off the cash stack. $500 in goods still left. The guy goes across the street. We don't know what he does. We're really not concerned what he does in those five minutes. That's his time. People need to stop worrying about what other people are doing when they're not around. So he comes back five minutes later with our $100. He comes into the store, he buys $70 worth of goods. So let's take $70 off the good stack, just come on down. We're gonna do these in the order of the, that the transaction is made in order to make sense out of this. So he takes $70 worth of goods, he puts them on the counter. I don't know he's stolen this money already, so I'm just like, okay, see your good, 70 bucks, he gives me $100, he gives me my $100 back. Cause he's a scoundrel, he's a snake, he's a weasel. So he gives me my $100 back, put $100 back on that stack, 500 back in that stack again. Still missing 70 from our good stack because he's purchasing. I have to give him change uh, because that's what store owners do. I give him $30 in change for the $100 he gave me since I'm aloof that it was my money and I'm not shooting him now at the register. So I give him $30 in change. Boom, take $30 off that stack. He has his goods, he has his money, he walks out. <sighs> So we see it's $70 in goods, $30 in cash. It's that simple. The answer is 100. So tell anyone who, if they get anything other than 100, you'll stop being their friend in real life. You'll block them in real life. Every time you'll see them, just do that. You'll block them in real life, just, just like that. All right, so that's the answer. And that's it. We're not going to drag this out any, any longer. Um, the explanation is there. If you like any or all this video, make sure you hit the like button. Salt and abuse that like button. Don't assault and abuse your friends for getting the wrong answer. Forgive them. No, not what they do. But uh, make sure you subscribe to Genius Insomniac for more videos. Uh, follow me at Tweet Insomniac and Snapchat at BZBets. But as always, I'm Bruce. Coolest nerd you know.